Hi friends! Today we're going to spend some time reviewing our exit ticket from our math assignment on Tuesday. That exit ticket was about identifying unknown sides of rectilinear shapes, right? A reminder that rectilinear shapes are just shapes that are made up of rectangles, right? They're closed, so if you put a ball inside of them, it would not be able to float out of the shape, and they are made up of straight lines, okay? So let's take a look at this first problem here. What is the missing side length of the shape below? So when I looked at your work for this problem, I saw that a lot of friends made two different mistakes. They thought, some friends thought that we were finding the perimeter. So they added up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fours, and they got 28. But it's not asking us to find the perimeter. It's asking us what's the missing side length here. And this doesn't look like it would be 28 meters if this is four, right? That doesn't seem very reasonable. It's always important to make sure that when we give an answer that we know that it's reasonable, right? Another mistake that some friends made was that they added just two fours Right? And I'll show you why we wouldn't add just two of the fours. Okay? So, like a good math problem solver, I need to make sure that before I even look at my answers, right, I'm going to cover them up. So I would go like this. There we go, I have the problem, but no answers. And then I'm going to find the answer for myself, right? What do I think the answer is? And then I'll go back and see if my answer matches one of the ones in the choices. So in order to do this, to find this missing side length, right? I could break this up. I think I'm going to break it up into three. So let's do an orange. Then we'll do, oops, We'll make this one green. Mm, no, background's green. Let's do blue. And then another one over here. That's going to be pink. Okay. So now that I have broken up my rectilinear shape into three smaller shapes, I can use rules of rectangles and rules of squares to help me figure out missing side lengths, okay? So when I look at this orange one, I know that, hmm, if the top is four meters, the opposite side, the bottom, is also going to be four meters. Now the same would apply for this blue rectangle, right? If I am looking to find the bottom of the blue rectangle, which would be a part of this whole bottom side of this shape, I would put four meters, right? Because the top is four meters and that is opposite of the bottom. Okay, let's make this like that. That way we get rid of the question mark because we are on our way to finding the answer. Okay, so now that I found whoops, this part of the bottom side length and I found this part of the bottom side length, I still need to find the pink part of the bottom side length. So again, the top is four, so the bottom is also going to be four. But I'm not done yet because the bottom side length is not 444. It's not 444, right? It's 4 plus 4 plus 4. 
So if I put that down here, four plus four plus four is going to give me four, eight, 12 meters, right? I don't put square meters because I'm not finding area right now. I'm just finding a missing side length, okay? So some friends that saw this part and they saw this part and they added four plus four and got eight, but they forgot about this middle four, right? This middle four here, okay? So the correct answer for number one, right? I can go back and look at my choices now and see 12, eight, four, or 28. I got 12 would have been the correct answer. Let's look at the second one. Find the missing side length R in the figure below. So again, uh, I don't actually, I don't have choices here, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm going to go over to my slides so that I can mark this up and divide. Okay, so looks to me like I could divide this rectilinear shape into two rectangles. So let's do that first. Okay, let's make this one yellow and we'll make this one, whoops, we'll make this one red. It's like BC colors. Okay, so I'm get, again going to look for ways that I can use my rectangle rules to help me find this missing side length R over here, okay? So, hmm, it's not like I know this part, right? If I knew the right side of this rectangle, then I could very easily apply my rectangle rules and say, oh, this side R is opposite that side, so I have my answer, but I don't know how much this is, okay? Now, if I could find out what this yellow part was, then I would know a part of this whole side and I would know the whole side is seven, right? So if I could find the yellow part, then I could find the red part because I know how to solve for a missing part when I'm doing part, part, whole. Huh, well I do know that this side of the yellow rectangle is three inches. And with my rectangle rules, this side is opposite that side. So it would also be three inches, right? This yellow part would also be three inches. So if I know that the whole right side of the rectilinear shape is seven, And then if I take away the three, which is the part that I already know, what would I have left for my red part? What would I have left for my red part? Seven minus three is four, right? So I could label this part, oops, there we go with four, and I can double check, four plus three does give me seven for the whole side there, okay? So four inches. Make sure I label here. Thank you to those of you who did label in your answer. All right. Explain the steps you took to find the missing side length in the figure above. So since it was hard for you to show your work on this, right, you have to practice 
saying it through words, right? So I want to say it in a way that would make sense to other people when they're reading it. So I may say something like, what was the first step I did? I split the shape, right? I split the shape into, yep, two rectangles. Then what did I do? Hmm. Well, I saw that I had three here and three here, right? I used my rectangle rules. I used the rectangle rules and it knew that the left side, right? I can tell them exactly where I was looking. I knew that the left side of the bottom rectangle, that's very specific, right? I can tell them, okay, here's the bottom rectangle. Here's it three inches on the left side where it says three inches was the same as the right side of the bottom rectangle. Once I knew that, then I used the whole side length of the shape, we'll say the right side length of the shape, always helps to be specific, was seven inches. I also knew that a part of it was, a part of that length was three inches. Right, like we already described, we knew that this part was three inches. I remembered part, part, whole, and knew I needed to find the missing part. So I did seven minus three equals four inches. Right, so I really walked my reader through each step of how I solved this problem. And then I was really specific in my language, right, so that they could follow along with the way that I was thinking. Okay, then I would press submit. All right, friends, since you do not have any other math work for today other than to watch this video, I'm going to ask you to do something so that you can show me or your teacher that you watch this video. So today is O for outside day. So in a private comment, you are going to go and put your favorite outside activity. So I'm going to show you again exactly where to put it. So you would go to today's math assignment, which I haven't posted yet, but it will say Math Thursday 6 4 20. Okay, you'll click on that one. I'm just going to use this as a practice, but you're again you're going to click Thursday. And then to do a private comment, you would just go over here, right? Don't put it in the class comments. Put it in a private comment. You're going to tell your teacher what's your favorite outside activity. And once you do that, then your teacher will know that you have watched this video and you've done your math for today, okay? So private comment on today's assignment, not Wednesdays, and tell us what's your favorite outside activity. All right, friends, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.